A car is one of the most expensive things you'll ever own. Even after paying for the purchase of your vehicle, you'll still be spending money on fuel and taxes for the whole time you own it, meaning that even the most basic runaround will likely have cost you thousands of dollars by the time you're done using them. That doesn't stop people from abandoning their cars sometimes, though, not even when those cars are worth a lot of money, like the cars in this video. Even if you have an eye for classic cars, you probably haven't seen anything like this before. It's a 1931 Ford Model A Cabriolet, with a few modifications. Around 10 years after it was built, it was modified for the express purpose of delivering mail during winter months, a job for which it would need bigger wheels and thicker tires. The custom fenders, truck differential, and tractor tires were added at that time would have made delivering mail through the snow of its native Montana a breeze for this old Ford. But the good times didn't last forever. Not long after that winter was over, it was locked away in a barn and didn't see the light of day again until April 2013 when it turned up as a barn find. All those years indoors meant that it was still in relatively good condition when it was found, but the $58,000 asking price it was listed for might have been a little too high. Sadly, we don't know where it is now, but we hope somebody's taking good care of it. There's no such thing as a bad Aston Martin. Every Aston Martin is beautiful, and all of them are valuable. That makes it almost unthinkable that anyone would ever abandon one. Yet, we've seen it happen. This 1955 Aston Martin DB2 IV was hiding away in a barn in Gloucester, England for over 50 years before it was found in March of 2016. This isn't just any old Aston Martin either. During the 1960s, it served the public as an unmarked police car. There are worse ways of being arrested and thrown in the back of a car like this. The barn was well insulated, so the car survived the passing of the years without suffering any damage whatsoever. There are even a few newspapers in the back from the 1960s as if its last driver had parked it up and intended to come back to it one day. After discovery, the car was purchased by the Cotswold Classic Cars Company, who intend to perform some basic restoration work before putting it on the market. Our next abandoned car is also an Aston Martin, and it's also spent years locked away from the light in Britain. Unfortunately, it hasn't had quite as much luck as the former police car we just saw. This 1951 DB2 is a little more than a wreck, despite the fact that it was only 14 years old when it went into storage. Perhaps it's a testament to the enduring value of the Aston Martin brand that, even in this condition, it was expected to sell for $60,000 when it was made available in May 2018. The car would originally have had sleek black paintwork, but the paint has long since faded and many places in the body, it's been replaced by thick layers of rust. In fact, the rust might be the only thing that's holding this mangled front end together. The interior of the car is so badly torn and damaged that Bonhams, the company tasked with auctioning the car, believed it might have been used as a racing car at some point during the late 1950s before being bought by a family who used it as a means of daily transport for two years before it broke down in 1965. It's never been driven since, but perhaps it will one day soon. Why focus on just one abandoned classic car when you could be looking at a whole range of them, especially when every single car in that range is either a Rolls Royce or a Bentley? The collection belonged to a classic car enthusiast from Louth, England, and became part of his estate when he passed away. He loved buying and restoring vintage classics, but he never got around to these 13 forgotten beauties. There are several hidden gems here, including a 1934 Rolls-Royce 2025 limousine, a 1939 Rolls-Royce Wraith Sedanka DeVille, another 1939 Rolls-Royce in the shape of a Wraith Special Saloon, and a 1928 Rolls-Royce Wayman Saloon. If Bentleys are more your thing, how about a 1935 Bentley 3.5 liter sports saloon? The car in the best condition from the whole collection is this 1960 Rolls Royce Silver Cloud II, which looks like it just rolled off the production line yesterday. We wouldn't even want to speculate how much the whole collection would be worth, 
but we imagine it runs into seven figures. Looking at the before and after pictures of this next car, it's hard to believe that they're images of the same vehicle. It's a classic 1964 Jaguar E-Type and it spent more than 30 years exposed to the elements in the woods in Gloucester, England. It was only the 10th series in one 4.2 model ever built, and it's a crying shame that such a rare and prestigious car was ever allowed to get into such a shabby state in the first place. The rot had set in so badly that it wasn't just surrounded by foliage, the foliage had started to grow straight through it. Fortunately, it came into the possession of a company called E-Type UK, which specializes in the repair and reconstruction of these priceless pieces of motoring history. Only the running gear and rear suspension could be salvaged from the broken shell of the car. Everything else had to be overhauled and replaced. We suppose that with so much of the original needing replacement, it's technically a brand new car now. But that hasn't prevented it from selling for just over $150,000 to a private collector. If a car is parked in a residential car park and then left alone, how long do you think it would take before the owners of the car park had the right to take the car for their own? It seems that in England, that answer is three years. This Lotus Grey Elise 111S was abandoned in a car park in Battersea in 2016, and after all attempts to locate the owner failed, it was listed for sale in 2019 for the bargain price of £3,100, a little under $3,900 when converted to American currency. There were a few drawbacks, though. The sellers didn't have any keys for the vehicle, so that'd be a problem for the new owner to solve. One of the tires had become flat during the car's long parking session, and it had also encountered some minor damage to its chassis. It was more than a little dusty and would likely need the attention of a mechanic to get it back to full working order. But these are minor inconveniences when you consider you're getting a Lotus for less than $5,000. In early 2019, a 95-year-old Belgian sculptor decided it was finally time to cash in on the treasure he'd been keeping locked up in his barn for the past 50 years. Not one, not two, but three classic Bugattis. August Thomason bought the three luxury cars between the late 1950s and early 1960s. He was earning a lot for his art at the time, and as an artist, he was drawn to the beauty of the Bugatti design. The three cars are a 1932 Type 49 Berlin, a 1929 Type 40, and a 1937 Type 57 Cabriolet. They would automatically be highly valuable under any circumstances, but all three cars also come with custom coachwork, making them even more unique. They've been looked after so well that two of the cars could be driven away from the barn but the Type 40 would need some love and attention because Thomason took it apart with the intention of rebuilding the coach himself, then never finish the job. The artist was hoping to attract a figure of around $1 million for all three cars. We suspect he was offered more than that. What on earth was the first ever big block Chevy doing in a junkyard in Idaho in November 2019? We have no idea but we're glad that someone found out and rescued it. This remarkably rectangular vehicle is a 348 four-speed 1960 Chevy Impala. Even though it isn't in the best condition, it could have been worse. Thankfully, the climate in Idaho is so arid that it staves off the worst of the corrosion that would have reduced the Chevy to a pile of rust anywhere else. The motorheads among you might be interested to know that this is the only GM engine ever not to come with a single two-barrel carburetor. With the 348, you either bought it with a four-barrel carburetor or you didn't buy it at all. No car survives too long once it's found its way to a junkyard, so it looks like whoever spotted this Impala did so in the nick of time. If they hadn't, it'd probably be nothing more than scrap metal by now. Any authentic Ferrari is likely to cost a lot of money. A Ferrari 275 GTB will cost more than most. This particular Ferrari 275 GTB, though, is worth more than any other in the world. That's because this is chassis 06003, the very first ever to roll off the production line. 
and for 25 years it was thought to be lost. The car was built in 1964 as the prototype of its line, and it was used by the company as a development car before being raced at the Monte Carlo Rally in 1966. After that, it changed hands numerous times after appearing at the Cavallino Classic in Palm Beach, Florida, USA in 1993, it vanished from public view. We don't know for sure what happened to it during those years as the owner wanted to remain anonymous, but it turned up for auction in December of 2018. Given its rarity and its lineage, the auctioneers refused to consider any bids below $6 million. They expected to get a figure closer to $8 million for it and it might even have gone higher. As the auction was conducted under wraps, we'll never know for sure. Most people would know that a Ferrari was worth a lot of money just by looking at it, but how many people would be able to spot the hidden value in this clapped out red wreck? Don't worry if you can't, the fact that it appears to be so anonymous is the whole reason it managed to hide in plain sight for 50 years. This is actually a 1967 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500, and it might be worth millions of dollars. Not every car of this class is this valuable. What makes this one so special is that it's the original Little Red, the car loaned to Carroll Shelby as a test vehicle so Shelby could use it to develop performance parts. Shelby sent the car back to Ford after he was done working on it, and it was thought that it had been crushed or otherwise destroyed. But a team of researchers eventually tracked it down to a yard in Weatherford, Texas, where it was standing out in the open in derelict condition. The engine's gone, the hood is missing, but the chassis number confirms this is the same car Shelby once worked on with his own hands. That's likely to give it a value of at least $2 million. What is it with British people leaving Aston Martins out to rot in their barns? We don't know the answer to that question, but it seems to happen a lot. Here's yet another abandoned Aston Martin. This time, it's a 1936 Mark II saloon, and it's one of only 24 that were ever made. This particular model was bought for less than $500 in 1951, but would spend more than 50 years standing disused in a garage before finally being recovered and offered for sale in May 2019. The family of the car's recently deceased owner was hoping to get somewhere around $100,000 for the car, even though it was coated in rust and had the small problem of missing one of its wheels. The family says that it was used as a daily driver for 20 years until the handbrake eventually broke in 1971, causing the owner to park it up for repairs that he never got around to. $100,000 might sound like a lot of money to spend on a three-wheeled rust bucket, but fully restored, it should sell for at least twice that price. We wouldn't like to say what the most amazing and valuable barn find of all time is, but we think that this discovery has to be at least in the conversation. It's a collection of 81 cars, and if they were all sold together, they'd probably be worth eight figures. The collection represents a lifetime's curating work from one careful owner in France who spent 30 years of his life putting it together before passing away in 2018. We won't list all 81 of the cars, but how's this for a set of highlights? There's a 1961 Lincoln Continental Mark III convertible, a 1981 Chevrolet Corvette, a 1968 Oldsmobile, and a 1967 Cadillac Eldorado. As amazing as those old classics are, they pale in comparison to the star of the show. That honor goes to a beautiful red 1968 Lamborghini Miura P400, which was produced as number 118 of only 225 that were ever built. This car alone was expected to be worth more than half a million dollars. If someone took the time to fully restore it, its true value would be close to one million. There were so many cars that many of them were stored around the French barn rather than inside it, so the condition of the vehicles varies dramatically. But it's a once-in-a-lifetime treasure set that really ought to be in a museum. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, and you will be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.